Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Cult of the Lamb, where today we're out to desecrate some corpses, I guess? That's, you know, video games. That's just video games for you, in a nutshell, really. Excuse me, adorable birds. I mean, technically, birds have skeletons too, right? And their their bones are like really hollow and fragile. I'm not saying I'm not saying that like my intent is to desecrate the corpse of a bird, but it, it would probably be like easy. That's all I'm thinking. Okay, so this is a new spell. This is a different weapon. Um, have we have we used the dagger before? Uh, let's take the dagger. Okay, pretty fast. Got a decent stab on the end. Hopefully it does real damage. Oh, I am not allowed to go this way. I have to take both of them, I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that very much, in fact. I hesitated there for a second. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to attack that because it did not seem to have... Uh, any particular feelings about us whatsoever. These rooms are weird, right? Oh, here we go. Here's here's Clownak. My good friend Clownak. What do we got? Better chests or more fervor? Better chests, I guess? To be perfectly honest with you, Chests do not seem very valuable, in total. Oh, okay, that one looks better. We acquired a flower necklace. I'm assuming that's that's some kind of larger scale item, right? Because it affects our followers. That's not a thing that's gonna vanish at the end of the run. Okay, so maybe maybe this maybe this better chest thing is actually doing stuff. We're picking up we're picking up pieces for uh, for the base, possibly because of that thing. Uh, so this is the exit. Yes, I would like to go and see what is in the direction we didn't go back here. <laughs> Not doing a great job of collecting bones because every room has only a single enemy in it. Wow, that does a lot of damage, and it stuns them. That's pretty fantastic, actually. All that destruction, and we get some grass. Stone, I mean, probably stone, right? This is another follower, I'm imagining. Yeah, this feels like the right way to go. Oh, I didn't know they were going to make me mine it all manually. Okay. We do not, in fact, have to mine it. We just punch, punch the rocks until they are loose. The things that survival video games are teaching our children, I swear. The followers of Darkwood burned down our village. Please, I have nowhere to go. Well, good news for you. Also, it just so happens this area is loaded with skeletons, which is great for me as well. You don't want to see the thing I'm about to do here. Yeah, cool. Okay, this is really going to bolster our rate of uh, ritual replenishment. Listen, it's not... There's nothing... Run they weren't even using their bones anymore. Frankly, I think it would be irresponsible not to take them. Okay. Well, this is really something. Hey, look, we found the fishing minigame. Ratu is singing a little song. <laughs> Ow. 
I like I extremely love these intense little heart friends. Welcome, Crusader. Take a moment to join me in my search. I look for the heart that once beat in my chest. That is until it was taken by her. I have been sitting here for so many years. Even her face has faded from my mind. Yet I keep searching. Always searching. I have a dozen hearts, you see, but none of them are mine. They are yours if you wish to have them, Crusader. They are worthless to me. I care only for the heart that was once mine, so that I might look upon her face one last time. Huh. I really love this as a way of, like, restoring HP. This, <laughs> this is very fun. Where did you even get this? Where is this one from? Okay, you know, you... happy fishing. You just have a nice day. Seems like things have not been going so well for our friend here. Oh, hey, it's like the whole gang. So it is true, the red crown sits upon the brow of another. But how? We did everything we could to... It matters not. We sh We need not bother Shamur with this. Deal with it, brother. As you command, my sister. I don't feel like I needed to be present for that. Okay, so I cannot... Uh, the, the archers do not get hit-stunned out of shooting arrows, sadly. So this, uh, this curse rules, but also does cost a lot of fervor to use. There are so many skeletons in this area. Once we can actually take a second here and clear everything, we're going to be well on our way. In fact, never mind well on our way, we are, in fact, uh, way over what we need to be at. I do really appreciate when everything just shatters at the end of the room, and so I don't have to go around breaking stuff one by one. Okay, there's a lot of big knives hanging from the, the canopy in this direction. Okay, that's another another friend of whatever type Clownek is. Step forward, beast, from the swirling mists of chaos that surround. Allow me to regard you wholly. Hmm, you carry the weight of ageless centuries upon such diminutive shoulders. Yet what is this? It seems your stature is deceiving. A weapon is not without the hand that wields. To fell enemies, to defend honor, to break chains. Let your crown take the form of one of these works of iron forged in everlasting fire. May you wield them well, promised liberator. Yeah, that's what we're doing. It's liberation. I gotta be honest with you. I don't really want to swap to an axe. I think this, um... This dagger with the poison chance on it just feels really powerful. I think we're gonna stick with it. I kind of like our spell, too, honestly. Yeah. It gives, it's so many hits that it's really, really easy. <laughs> Boy, they really want me to take that. It's so many hits that it's really easy to apply the poison, and then the poison does so much damage. Okay, this is a little different. Ow. 
did absolutely let that happen. Okay, I was about to say, I wonder if he has any other attacks, because that spitting thing is not really like a, not a huge danger to us. The answer is yes. He has an attack that actually makes him super difficult to uh, to hit. And there doesn't seem to be like a good visual tell for which one he's going to do. Because the thing is, we kind of need to make the decision right when he comes up whether or not we're going to... Ah, uh, I just ran right into it. Yes, martyred. That's good. That makes it sound noble instead of uh, extremely bad and foolish. Okay, well we get to take home all of the bones at least. Fear not, for you are my chosen vessel, and death cannot halt you. I shall not allow it, for I still have need of you. Take what you have gathered, build and strengthen the cult. This is how power is gained. Continue on, undaunted. Each time you are brought down, you rise again stronger. I gotta be honest with you, I was expecting to get yelled at there. I mean, the one who waits seems like a swell boss. Right. Uh, our death has made our followers think we're weak, and, you know, deservedly so, it seems like. Alright. Hello, new friend. I'm, I'm currently sparing you. I am absolutely going to mess with your form, though. Uh, so what do we have access to? Pig? There's a lot of fancy stuff that gets unlocked later, it looks like. Oh, we don't have any adorable cat followers, do we? Yeah, let's go, let's go adorable cat. Ooh, let's get like a, yeah, like an eek the cat blue, sort of. That seems appropriate. Variant? Oh, like facial markings. This one, <laughs> this one looks mean-spirited. Okay, what's your deal? Minus five faith whenever a follower is sacrificed and cynical. Well, it's not ideal. I am I am fully changing your name to Eek. Okay. There you go. Isn't that better? Um, tend to the farms. Prefer prefer to tend to the farms. Also, I gotta. I gotta clean up everything around here. Just making sure, seeing if there is in fact anything else that needs. Nope, clean up is fine. So, let's all just go dance. Oh, I need more wood, darn it, okay. Well, that's very solvable. Also, apparently, I'm allowed a sermon. Look at our incredible flock of five followers. Okay. Everything these days is about being an influencer. It's terrible stuff. All right, let's get, what was it? It was 10, right? Hi, do you, do we, do we need to talk or are you, what's going on, man? Great leader, I am tired of sleeping outside on the ground. There are bugs and my back, back aches. Would you build me somewhere to rest? Yeah, I probably should do that. Wow, minus 20 faith. That's pretty rough. How, how expensive? Oh, that's right. We don't have the, um, we don't have the recipe for that yet is the problem. Okay, well, we'll get there. For right now, let's bolster faith through a little bit of dancing. Oh, we're gonna start a big bonfire inside the wooden church? Oh. 
Okay, everybody seemed basically fine with that. Indoctrinating followers is well and good, but there is so much more you can take from them. Give them gifts, complete quests, and perform blessings for them, and you will increase their loyalty to you. Once they are totally loyal, they will give you everything they own. Watch as I show you. You, follower, come back in here. Uh, increase the followers' loyalty to level them up. They'll reward you with devotion and a commandment stone fragment. Each time they level up, they generate additional devotion when at a sermon or worshiping. Yeah, uh, you can give a follower a blessing once a day when you interact with them. Running around blessing everybody every day sounds like a. It'd probably be a little tedious, though. The more loyal followers you have, the stronger you'll become. I have much to teach you. But I am old and grow weary. Visit me at my home and I will show you how to harness the true power of the Red Crown. Okay. That's like a whole world map I've not even seen yet, so that, <laughs> that's maybe a concern for a little bit later. Yeah, let's run around and say howdy to people. Give you a blessing. Make demand. It's weird that give blessing is a demand. Okay, it is quite effective. I'll say that. No, not not you, Velifar. And the thing is, it does, like, it is quite a significant portion of the bar, right? So it does feel like we really ought to be doing this. But what a boring thing to have to do every time you come back to camp. <laughs> I wonder if we'll find a way to automate this later. Where is our... There you are. Doesn't seem, to, doesn't seem to be much to it. You just kind of point at somebody and they understand that your blessing has been given. This thing lets us jump out. Yeah. I mean, I guess let's go visit our friend. Oh, neat. It's weird that that's a way to find forms, but whatever. You have discovered my humble cottage. Be careful you don't make the same mistakes I did, or you will end up in a place just like this. Now, perhaps a game of knucklebones. You don't know it. Why, it's simple. Step up to the table and I will show you. Okay, feeling a little nervous about that. Um, Yes, except it's, it's weird that they made me accept a thing where there was only one option, but fine. How is Knucklebones played? When dice of the same number are placed in the same column, multiply their value. Destroy your opponent's dice by matching yours to theirs. Your score is calculated by adding all your dice together. So how does the... Okay, by matching your dice to theirs. I do not got it yet. Okay, see this is... Some of the stuff that was uh, was maybe left out of that explanation a little bit. Uh, I mean... Oh, okay. I can't assign the die to just any place I want. I have to, I have to build down from... Okay. Okay. 
very curious that he put his threes all in separate areas. I assume that's why he is considered to be a weak opponent. Uh, you know what? Let's just cap this one out, I guess. Ah. So honestly, this doesn't <laughs> doesn't seem like much of a game. All right, that's pretty ugly. Okay, so the game ends whenever anyone's grid fills, but even though Ritao has almost twice as many dice out as we do, uh, he doesn't seem to understand the rules of the game. By the one below, you're unnatural. Here, you've earned yourself a prize. Okay, that seems fine, I guess. Not much of a prize. <laughs> now you've had a taste of the game. Care to wager some coin? You know what, sure. Okay, I can't do that with the mouse. Yeah, let's let's bet in, because you seem to be terrible at the at this game, so. It is remarkably simple. I keep clicking on the die over here like there's anything else I could be telling the game to try to move. Unfortunately, leaving lots of space open for, uh, for threes. Trying to keep my like my hate plays open and versatile here. That was a heck of a roll. That said, we are still winning. Okay, well that probably does it right there. <laughs> Wait, what? There we go, okay. Seemed like it just wasn't letting me place it for a minute there. All right, so I assume that like, his difficulty level is listed as quite low. I'm assuming that if you want good rewards, you have to beat people who are better. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of money. You're only allowed to bet so much. So I did, like, 10 money is probably not going to matter too much in the long run. What is this? I must thank you. By relieving me of my duties, you have granted me what I desire most. Peace. Now that I've taught you everything you need to know, I can pass my days playing Knucklebones. I have friends on their way to join me for a game or two as we speak. A rowdy bunch, to be sure. But now I am retired, I am free to enjoy myself. It's a weird thing to stop me so that you could say. Was that his... Hmm... I'm wondering if we just found an idol, like, why would he just have a bunch of devotion sitting around? Seems very odd, 
given what it has represented to us so far. All right, so let's get the beds. It's a start. Yeah, we almost certainly aren't picking up the mummy thing now. What's up? Do you also want beds? Oh, time we gave the cult a name. I mean, Cult of the Lamb is fine. How many letters am I allowed to use? Not that many. Well, I was gonna go for, like, Worshippers of the Glorious Blood Wheel. Obviously, you always have to include that it's glorious, otherwise it could become incensed. Uh, if it has to be that much shorter, how about... How about... Aw. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna type definitely consensual friends. How about mo- how about most consensual friends? We're all here of our own volition. How about just consensual friends? Okay. Consensual friends. That has a nice ring to it. Okay. And it's not quite a new day yet, so I don't think I can bless you. Ah. Alright. We are going to want some beds. I'm assuming that we're going to need beds for everybody. Well, that everybody's going to want beds at least. But we just don't have the budget for that right now. Alright, we got some people's loyalty heading up now. Now that in theory they have a place to sleep. And I do apologize. I'm probably gonna have to cut today's episode just a little bit short. Let's do like one more dungeon real quick. Oh, hold on. Now that I have given Hagra what he wants, we should probably go over here and say howdy. Wow, you did it? Truly, you are without flaw. I am grateful, great leader. Okay, very grateful indeed, it would seem. We're also supposed to be giving somebody a gift. You, arbitrarily, enjoy this flower necklace. Okay, I mean, those are fine. All right, let's see about maybe finishing off the Darkwood. It does feel like we haven't been playing long enough to be finishing stuff off though, right? All right, kind of an unimpressive dagger. Knocks back enemies within range while also damaging them. Okay, I see. I am not uh, not doing so hot and fighting some of these enemies. Wait, why is that still? Okay, it's red because there's enemies in here. It wasn't. I had misinterpreted that as being no entry. Ah. Tiny little misclick. <clears throat> All right, Clownic, what do we got? Enemies drop more favor or, you know? The 
rabbit's foot worked out pretty we reasonably last time. This guy's a problem. Well, I took a really embarrassing amount of damage there and I'm not sure how we're gonna survive it. The narrowest survival. And of course, no healing to be had. Okay, reveal the whole map. I mean, I guess that's fine. So I think there is, it doesn't, seem, it doesn't seem like there's an easy way to, yeah, all right, I'm not going to stress about the rest of this dungeon. Let's just keep moving forward. I, as much as I want to do other stuff, we probably need to take the health here, right? All right, uh, I mean, let's check out the question mark. Let's, we gotta, we gotta figure out what stuff is. Oh. Damn. My hand is sitting on my mouse in a way that is uh, not conducive to me not accidentally firing my spell all the time. I'm gonna choose red heart. Okay, so blue heart, it's not, it's not anything fancy or complicated, it's just get one of these. I don't know that we do need uh, more raw resources, especially since they're very plentiful back, uh, back at camp. Ow. Once again, I'm just, just doing a terrible job for no reason. Oh, damn it. I think that's the first time I've actually been hit by that, um, that diving attack that those things do, that is embarrassing. Do I get yelled at this time? Nope, rise once more, doesn't no matter how many times you're struck down. Okay. Management style, consistent, and also much appreciated. Consensual friends. <laughs> that is actually a... A complete delight. So do I have the resources to build the other two beds? I do. All right, let's let's get that done. It is so hard to get this the center of this thing where you want. There we go. Trying to work on the thing. Okay, now everybody actually has a bed. That's got to be good for us. We get a 
new inspiration. So what comes next? I don't think we're going to bother getting Body Pit. I mean, I guess we have to take this, right? Alright. I was a little worried I was going to forget to do that if I didn't do it right away. Okay. The whole cult was upgraded, which makes everybody just overjoyed. Oh, I should probably cook. We are really short on ingredients, though. All right, you know what? Uh, like I said, I am a little, a little crunched here for time. I think I'm going to go ahead and just call this one here. Thank you all so much for watching. Rather than cooking and then running another dungeon and stuff. There will be time. We will get to all of it. Uh, that's going to be it for us for today, though. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time tomorrow, hopefully we're going to figure out a way to feed all these people, because the last thing I need is a cult full of starved... I mean, listen, it would, it would be a shame for them to starve if they weren't cute as well. But the fact that they would be starved cuties, it's, it's just like a tiny little bit sadder, right? Anyway, Come back next time for us avoiding that assiduously, and we'll see you then.